Oh no. Oh god no. Another childhood movie that ruined my future. Scooby Doo was one of the movies that I hated right now but loved back then, but this is another. The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lost Girl in 3D. My god. This movie's just bad. I mean, it's not the worst movie that that um, Robert Rodriguez made. I mean, Machete Kills is even worse. But this movie's just one of the stupidest and most mediocre movies ever that I've ever seen. But I loved this movie as a kid. When I first saw this movie as a kid, I loved it. Because it was in 3D, and it had two young superheroes that were a part of dreams. But, dear God, this movie's just horrendous. And, yes, it's, it's in 3D, but... But the big part of it, the 3D effects don't work that well with the 3D glasses. I mean, they're just pretty bad. I mean, I mean, no one uses that type of 3D anymore with the red and blue glasses. No, now we have those HD 3D with the when you watch your Blu-ray and all with your 3D glasses. Those are the real 3D right now. But this one was just bad. I mean, you may think that Shark Boy and Lava Girl was a classic, but it's not. Not many people remember this film now. And also. Spy Kids 3D Game Over was also a 3D movie, but that movie was a slightly more a, more successful and slightly more memorable than this piece of monkey crap. But, yeah, so we all know the plot. A boy named Max, who dreams a lot, and he uses the words dream multiple times throughout the film. And it gets annoying, but if you watch it more like me, you'll soon understand why the word dream is used a lot in this film. So... So yeah, he tries to prove to everyone that Shark Boy and Love Girl are real, but no one believes him. His parents, his classmates, no one believed him until one day, bam, they show up at her door during the classroom and they took him to Planet Drool to save their planet from the evil Mr. Electric. So yeah, and plus George Lopez is in this film, so yeah, that's not much of a big change or anything, but still. Taylor Lautner plays a Shark Boy and, and uh, I don't remember the chick's name, but she looks almost like Alexa Vega with pink hair, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, movie's bad, but just not as bad as, as, um, Machete Kills, but, yeah. The whole movie was just stupid, had a lot of puke jokes, um, fart jokes, some um, brain jokes, you know, drool jokes, I mean, all those types of jokes that aren't really that great for kids, I mean, I mean, um, Robert Rodriguez doesn't know how to make good movies anymore. I mean, the first Sin City was great. The the um, Dust Till Dawn movies were great. I mean, the the first two Spy Kids movies were awesome. But then Spy Kids 3D came around. It was slightly less, more you know, more boring and stupid. But this one is even more stupid and annoying than the other Spy Kids movies. And then there was the Machete movies. The first Machete was okay. At least it wasn't as as stupid or cheesy like Machete Kills. But this movie's just bad. I'm very surprised it never had a sequel. And plus, this movie was one of the last, one of the last Dimension films to be released on VHS. So, maybe sometime next month, or maybe in a few years, maybe, if I ever get myself a new VHS tape that has Shark Boy and Lava Girl on it, maybe I will do a VHS review of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. But this is the DVD version. Do you want me to prove it? Let me just open the case for you. See? There's the DVD. Oh, okay. See? You thought this was VHS, right? Nope, it's DVD. And plus, it wasn't just Dimension Films who made this movie. Guess who else made it? Columbia Pictures did this movie too. So, if you're not from America, this movie was distributed by Columbia Pictures worldwide, but not here in America. So, now we know one of the main reasons why Columbia Pictures was, a, was working with this movie. I mean... Columbia Pictures does make a lot of good movies, but there were also bad movies like Geely and the, all the Adam Sandler movies that were bad. I mean, seriously, Columbia Pictures can do better than this. They should never have teamed up with, with Robert Rodriguez in the first place. I mean, this movie's just, just one of the weirdest, most stupidest movies of my childhood, and I used to love it as a kid. I used to, but now it's just boring and stupid and mediocre. Forget this film, people. Forget about this. This is terrible, cheesy stupidity for children. So, yeah. This is the final review I'll be doing right now. So, I hope you guys enjoy September. My birthday is going to be around soon. So, so yeah. Maybe next Thursday I'll do, a re I'll do a birthday review. You know. My birthday's in the 11th. 
course, uh, September 11th. That's my birthday. I was born in 1998, so don't call me some sort of worker with a terrorist. No. So, I'm not supposed to remind you all that it's my birthday, but I had to do it anyway because I want you guys to know my birthday is about here soon. So, so yeah, I'll do one more video for this month. That'll be a birthday movie that I'll be doing. So. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy weekends and all. Happy days or happy nights, like always, like I said on my Sonic review, so, bye-bye.